What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Musa, Lorenzo, The Game Dev, Adam Hart, Daryl Gaynor, Stinky Boy, Steven Sharp, Chelsea, Alex Arellano, Margolius, Anne Van Leeuwen, Justin Petrzak, Ryan Zandis, Brian Nowatchik, Jordan David Inneking, Meme Review, and Tokusa. And as always, I'd like to give a big shout out to our executive producer, The Anime Hybrid. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. <laughs> oh my god! He blew me away, dude! I'm coming, Chad! I'm here with you, I'm here with you! Holy sh! It's been like a helicopter! It's been like a helicopter plane! No! Oh my god! He, tore he spun around like he was in a tornado! God dang it, dude! So close! So this is yet another one of of uh, John Tron's videos that people have been aching for us to react to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. Win Starcade. Win Starcade. We get there when we get there. Okay. But <clears throat> does anyone else from the title have a mental image of people riding tigers and? Rhinoceroses and like stuff through the zoo. <laughs> yeah, I, don't think, I don't think I'm ever going to financially recover from this. <laughs> Sorry, that's Tiger King reference to those who don't get that meme. Uh, but as for that, what you were talking about, like riding ostriches and, sh and shit yeah. like that, I see the Swiss Family Robinson movie, the race that they had with the... Uh, Which that just made me the... think about Donkey Kong, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, riding, riding on Rambi and, and shit and like that. Yeah. Dude, the, you know, I would love a Donkey Kong racer. Uh, they actually did Diddy Kong, yeah. with, but that's that's like a, a traditional kart racer. I'm talking like an animal based one. Like you get Rambi, and you can like give him like studded like studded uh, leggings so that he can like take more hits. And you also give him like a you also give him like a like a gold or like a like a titanium ram horn cover, and he's able to like do more damage and shit like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, but, they just put <clears throat> Diddy and. Carts just like Mario Kart. They exactly. Had, they had planes. They, they had planes. They had boats or yeah, hovercrafts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still a pretty fun game. No, no, I liked it, and I love. I loved how challenging it was too, because you know having to collect the coins the second time through and get first place. Like a little Jesus. bit, I got to play that. I was not very old, and it was at my cousin's house, so it was probably like shortly after the game came out, and I could not do very well at that game at all. It was very hard. I yeah. was able to beat it like my first time playing it. I was able to beat it all the way through. Uh, without the coins, and then the second time through, I got to, I believe it was the dragon, which was the flying one, and I, I like, I had, tr I had trouble collecting the coins on those because I kept crashing into walls and losing. I think it was the first, like, <clears throat> boss race that, like, I tried really, really hard on for a really long time. Oh, the I Triceratops? I finally beat it, and that's as far as I got to get. Um, yeah, the Triceratops, I remember him, he was like... Uh, I think I beat the Triceratops, it was the, the one after good, that. Kid. It's the first boss that, like... <clears throat> I want to say he flew or something, but I, I don't remember. Well, there was sure. him. I need to play that game again sometime. There was the Triceratops, sometime. the Walrus, I believe, was the second one, and then the I think dragon. it was the Walrus that I had a lot of trouble with. Probably. Yeah, the Dragon for me, I beat him the first time, but the second time through it was just like that head start he gets too is an absolute nightmare. But <clears throat> and then of course you face Whizpig, which you know is a cheat all into himself. Yeah, which at that point you like. I found out how to unlock the uh, the the uh, the clock. I forget the damn clock's name. Uh, the one that did the time trial clock thing. Like, you did time trials on it. Yeah, I don't. You remember. could unlock him as a character, and he was the fastest character in the game by far. And <clears throat> I remember getting him and just being like, just being like, dang, I'm so fast now. Even then, it wasn't enough for me to beat the dragon the first time through. Second time it came through, I knew all the tricks because I looked them up, and then I I was like. About six months later, I came up to my cousin's house again, and I finally beat it. I was like, yeah! Woo! Apparently everybody's cousins had Diddy Kong racing, <clears throat> but not everybody. <laughs> oh, no, no. I eventually got it, but, but yeah, my, it was originally over at my cousin Brittany's house. Like, her, like, my cousin Brittany, uh, Brianna, and then Bryson. All three of them, yeah, three Bs. <laughs> Yeah, it's oh. my same cousin that's responsible for me to get to play video games in the first place because he's the one that gave me my NES when I was like three years old. So, mm -hmm. so he got a, I think a Sega Genesis or a Super Nintendo, one or the other, and he didn't want the NES anymore, so he just gave it to me to play. I remember my okay. cousin. I remember my cousin Josh got in trouble one time, 
And it's actually my cousin his, Josh. Is his name? I have a Christ, cousin Josh. Dude, this is this. <laughs> what? Do we just become best friends? No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, my cousin Josh, uh, he had a PlayStation One. He got in trouble at school, did something really bad, and his aunt sold it to my dad. It, like it plus two plus uh, you know two controllers and like twelve games and two memory cards. Sold it to me for fifty dollars when it was still going for like a hundred, like a hundred and fifty. And I'm just and I was just like. Holy crap! I'm getting all this for fifty dollars. Yes, like, I was so happy because it was like near my birthday too. And I'm just like, holy crap! I get a PlayStation One and all these games. Hell yeah! And I got like Twisted Metal Two. I got uh, Lara Croft Tomb Raider. I got the first Crash Bandicoot. It was like so many good games, dude. I love that. Mm, I love that era of PlayStation. But yeah, speaking of eras of uh, of certain things. This era of JonTron, where he did solely video game stuff, you know, a lot of people miss it and want him to go back to that. But honestly, I'm just happy that John wants to, you know, make videos. Whether it's about this... You want him to go back to just video games? <clears throat> Do you not understand the majesty of flex tape? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You, we wouldn't have the JonTron flex tape memes. I'll take your entire stock! You know, that whole thing. And... We wouldn't have all these amazing JonTron moments now. But I can understand why people would want to go back to the more simple times of John doing what he was doing before. But, you know what? There's a reason why we have archives on the internet, so we can go back and enjoy it mm -hmm. again. So, <clears throat> anyway, this is Zoo Race well, by For John the first Trump. time, if you didn't used to watch them all the time like me. So. Oh, true, true, very true. This is also my first time watching this one. <laughs> Ah, yes. <laughs> Aha! Okay. <laughs> Flap, Jacques. Flap with all your might. <clears throat> it's Christmas time. A time to spend with friends, family, and of course, little baby JC over here. How you enjoying your birthday, buddy? You ain't got much time left, so live it up now. You know, I mean, they do something fucked birthday. up shit I'm to just you. Joking. Like, they fuck you up, dude. And finally, the Christmas <clears throat> season is about taking a break from the hustle and bustle of life. I tell you, playing these games is hard work. So I'm going to kick back, relax, turn on a Nintendo game, and try to give my brain the rest it so dearly needs. <laughs> What? <laughs> There's no rest for me, John Tron. No, there isn't. Is there? Nope. There's no rest. All right, I suppose it's my duty then. One more. In the spirit of the season, I give you this gift to hold warmly in your heart like a yuletide log. Brace yourselves for the zoo race. Zoo race is, is a game. Someone made this. This is a thing that exists and was put into the world knowingly. Let me give you a taste. In one picture, I'm going to show you what Zoo Race is all about. Look at that pig. Did you get that? Is that all sinking in for you? Let's get broken. Let's get broken together this Christmas. You and me. You know, forget Rudolph, forget Frosty and Charlie Brown. I just want to get, I just want to get real sad. I get sad during the holiday season Man, anyway for some reason. What book are you reading? Oh, Seasonal hi, depression. Yes, it's a book about Noah's Ark. Ah, boy, here we go. Look at Albert Einstein over here, just perfectly placed for this meeting of the minds. Reuben, do you actually believe in the Bible story of Noah's Ark? Two sentences in, she's already asking about his beliefs. Now, first off, that's just rude, and second off, hey, Hannah, where the fuck you going? Da, da, You're just da, da, asking da. run? Oh, okay, just reposition <clears throat> yourself then. Reuben. Yes, Hannah? Oh, God, that face. I must recommend for you to read perhaps some more <clears throat> informative books. Now, Hannah, frankly, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This is like the most exciting shit. It's a book about a guy collecting every animal. It's like the original Pokemon. There's always <laughs> the dictionary, <laughs> encyclopedias, and also many history books to choose from. Oh, is that how you get smart? Yeah, that would explain it. I've been trying for ages and failing. No, Hannah. I like books about animals. Those other books are boring to me. And my dialogue was written by a four-year-old. Look at this lady walking down the hall. Once she gets an earshot, she's out of there! 
She's the smartest person in the room. Do you think that Noah had any creature races in those days after the world flood? Now, Reuben, you know that's a loaded question. Did Noah play and have fun with the animals? Now, Reuben, you know that's a loaded question. I think that maybe you read too many books, Reuben. <clears throat> Reuben, this is a librarian telling you this. Clearly, she can see you're a man who's been reading one too many of Dostoevsky's great works. It must be the vacant existential stare that tipped her off. You have too much imagination, Reuben. Oh, that's the hand of a defeated man right there. And who would actually start and announce such a race? Would it be God himself, maybe? Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's totally the weirdest thing about this. Actually, I would love to, but this is a very busy time of year for me. I've got my son's birthday, and don't laugh at me! <laughs> Now, Hannah, while this man's brain may be filled with as many holes as a fine Swiss cheese, that's the, that's the thing you're going to single out? That he couldn't announce a race? But, but, you know that God can do it, because God can do anything. Is anyone else getting the feeling this conversation has about as much depth as two five-year-olds arguing over who the best Ninja Turtle is? Come on, Hannah, let's yeah. race. You and me, let's race. Oh, and he's off! Look at this guy go! He's homeward bound! Come on, buddy, keep going! You'll make it in time for the holidays! You do it, big guy! What? What? Ah, <laughs> uh, can we back that up a bit there? It makes that noise? For the first time in my life, I'm... I'm Is that a real this? noise in the game? I got nothing. Come on, Hannah. Are you going to race me? <laughs> I shit back here. You need to get a brain, Reuben. Ouch. And besides that, well, I don't think that I can race even if I wanted to. I'm not very strong or anything. Jesus. I don't feel very well. <clears throat> what? Actually, guys, I think, you know, maybe maybe it's me right now that's not feeling so good. <laughs> Why does the pig what? have a hat? Now, I guess that statement is true. Can I guess go on? And you, a lot of them have hats. You're a rhinoceros. Ah, uh, Hannah, come on, that's just rude. That's tasteless. Ah, what <laughs> else could oh, it's ever little, happen? It's to a little horn helmet. <laughs> Lady, you just got turned into a horse. I'm gonna say sky's the limit. Oh my god. Yeah, this one's for real, isn't it? Hey, where are you guys going over there? Is it somewhere else? They're trying you. to escape the All game. Right, They're so like, this is the no. Race. I... <laughs> Noah's Adventures 2. Where was the first one? That's what I'm asking. These people In the they... Bible. In the bubble. Oh, okay. Oh, in the Bible. It was yeah. in the bubble. <laughs> the, the Ark was its first the first. In adventure. the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> so this I was a game that, that was made and sold for money. Yes. Oh, and look at these guys here. These guys here. They're just like, yep. We see where this game's going, and we are getting Is the fuck out of here. <laughs> yep. Like, nope, nope. The, these, like, these, put, these creatures right here have pulled a Monica. They have gained sentience, and they are trying to escape. Well, clearly that's right, Noah so and his three sons. The They're just like, uh, yeah. Subtitled They're like, Noah's yep, Adventures we're not being in this. Two. No. Is that like a follow-up to Noah's Adventure 1, a video game that doesn't exist? Or is it actually a sequel to the Bible story? If it's the latter, interesting move from religious text to video game. Bold choice. Also, what is this, J-pop? More like a sad attempt at J-pop. It's like, Lovely. it's like Danish J-pop. Yeah, if they ever get you, ah, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. It would appear Taco that a man Cohen. Named Taco Cohen wrote a whole seven lines of code for this game. What they do it in C minus minus. Oh, and by the way, this is very important to remember. So write this down. Tomorrow <clears throat> the Tiger was created by Dan Silverman. Dan, we couldn't have done this without you, buddy. Treat your party, treat your party. It's more fun than nothing. Is that Tamar the Tiger over there? Oh, well, I Jesus take Christ. Care. Oh, back! I can see now that an explicit credit was necessary. Hey, Tamar, is that rigor mortis set in for you yet? Yeah, I feel you, man. It's tough. Jewish rhino, top hat pig, dancing lamb doesn't know he's about to get slaughtered. I don't know what that is. Is on the right. I think it might be a pharaoh goat. All these screens look like a website from the early <coughs> internet days. The earth was filled with great violence in Noah's time, as the Bible describes. Yeah, just Noah's time. Thank God that's over. The game story, fiction. Oh, thank God they cleared that up. 
Alright, time to pick a character, I guess. What's with these titles? Warrior? Courageous? Swim Champion? One of these is not like the other. One of them fought and died for their cause. The other one uh, did a mean backstroke at summer camp. Well, here's tomorrow again. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna Lovely. say it. That's just a fucking tiger. I'm not so sure you can get credit for making a 3D model of a fucking tiger. I think the only person who should be credited for this, if anyone, is God himself. And I think, you know, in light of this whole thing, it's a bit blasphemous to try to take credit for that. Or at the very least, it's just plagiarism. Priscilla the pig, I gotta hand it to you. I think really this game is actually directly responsible, if so, for the reason that God has abandoned us. <laughs> I want to see everyone that developed this game compete on American Gladiator. I want to see him compete in Wipeout. That'd be hilarious. Who are these people? <clears throat> I don't know. But I know Taco Cohen, I mean... What convinced them to follow through with this? My guess? Like, insanity. These people should be interviewed. Like, this should be a reality show. And then later they should, like, you know, make a dramatization. Can I make a joke Netflix. and have you cut it out? Because you're going to have to cut it out. Go for what, it. What makes you think they would be able to compete on American Gladiator? They won't. To... They won't. That's the, that's why it's funny. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why it's funny, because they would just be terrible at it. Yeah. God have mercy. I, what? What? Were, uh, okay. I'll tell you this. There was a game jam competition that was taking place a long time ago. They got like four or five indie developers together. And like five or six YouTubers. <clears throat> and they were going to have them try and develop a game within a certain time frame. And I think they had like 24, 36 hours. And um, yeah, they would uh, develop the game. And the YouTubers and uh, gamers would play it and see which one was the most fun. Sounds like an interesting concept, right? Right. Nope! <clears throat> Turns out some uh, corporate stooge from a company, you know, who was, uh, you know, trying to make it more like a reality show. It's just like... Trying to do, like, you know, internal beats. Just like, yeah, you know there's more girls on that team, so, you know, you should say something sexist about them so that they so that they get more inspired to do better. It's like, what? What? That makes no sense. I mean, if they're here as part of the game dev team, why the hell should it matter if they're female? Why the hell should it matter? Why, why should any of that shit matter? But, no, they did it anyway, and uh, everyone on the show, it got so bad, everyone quit. All the YouTubers, all the developers, they were just like, you know what? We're leaving. And JonTron was one of them. JonTron, Angry Joe, and several other YouTubers, they were all part of this. And, you know, it, it's something that we'll never see. Because, you know, they were just like, yeah, screw this, you know, screw this shit. Because as Angry Joe would say, you done fucked it up! <laughs> yeah, and I guarantee you he'd say that about this game right here. Oh, yeah. You done fucked it up! God. I, I don't even know if he would say that about this. He'd probably just... What is this? I know Ride to Hell Retribution is like one of his worst games of all time. This has got to be one that tops it. Has to be. I just don't even know if you consider this a game. Like, this is just a meme. Like, yeah, something about you. A really I weird one. Put my finger on what it is. You know, I'm going to go with the pig because I feel like, you know, maybe there's some real dire consequences for not going with the pig. Hello, pig. Oh, God, you don't sound so good. You get enough sleep last night? Oh, oh, this feels shows. like it was like oh, a programming no group po project that line. like one person had to do for a grade just, and like the word nectarine just gonna be there the whole time. Trying. All right, I'll roll with it. <laughs> oh my! Holy what the? Shit. I think I think I, I think I'm bleeding from the chest. <laughs> the Lord, by God. What is with this announcer? It's real life. The rhino. Oh. And Oh, no, Harry. What in the hell am I looking at? You know, when I got on here to play <clears throat> this game based on Noah's Ark, I remember saying to myself, I said, if they don't have a shitty version of Van Halen's Jump as the background music, I'm out. <laughs> oh, my God, it is. <laughs> oh, I think I found a defector over here. <laughs> Looks like one of Satan's boys is trying to claw his way back to hell. Yeah, no dice, buddy. That would have taken at least eight lines of programming. Listen, man, I'm really sorry about your situation, but I got a race to win. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh God! Woo! Oh. 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 What? Is this, is this a glitch? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, oh, I think that was a glitch. No, it wasn't. 
Wasn't a glitch. Resume. Resume. This almost looks like Mario 64. Yeah, I should slap myself for saying that. God dang it, John! Oh, that that goddamn gorilla is staring at me again. I will, I will not have this. is like a bad day at the Bronx Zoo. Holy shit! So, a day at the Bronx Zoo. This is awesome! Is that, is that John 316 over here? Throwing goddamn ra irradiated barrels my way? <laughs> oh, hey! I actually won! What's my prize? Other than, of course, you know, getting the privilege to stare at the You get, you get slaughtered. Dick. Shalom. Am I missing something? Isn't that one different? Ain't that like going to Disneyland and asking for a Bugs Bunny hat? Not really, no. I mean, it's the Old Testament. And Moses and oh, everyone... No, like, no, don't, don't, don't do me like this. Please, the just, of the heroes just don't in the do Old me Testament like this. Jewish. Is that... Is that him? <clears throat> is that Noah? Oh, here he comes! <laughs> coming in from downtown! <laughs> Fuck that ball, Noah! It's a living! There is nothing in the known universe Breathe, that John. science cannot Breathe. explain. But this appears to be beyond the realm of sciences. Is this meant to test my faith? Or to lead me to faith? Also, you maybe want to, you know, set off a few of those fireworks a bit farther from the pig? Unless, of course, your aim here is to make bacon rain, which I admit is also a very admirable goal. Give thanks to the God of Heaven. You want to run that by me one more time? Maybe this time with one less Vicodin jammed down your throat? This game is a train wreck of the most beautiful kind. The controls are wonky, the courses consist mostly of straightaways and 90 degree hairpin turns, and there doesn't seem to be any ulterior goal except winning the race and watching Noah do his magical firework dance. Let's check out the second level. Avoid the obstacles, <laughs> one of which is God himself, it seems. You guys are getting conflicting messages here. This race is pirate and Egyptian themed? I'm pretty sure those things existed at different times. Yes. And I think maybe one of them didn't even exist at all. All the gold is yours <coughs> now. Also, I'm the Lincoln Memorial with gold or banana peels. The graphics aren't good enough to tell. You still get to stare my dick though. No one like the Lord our God. Dude, I don't think that was weed we just smoked. Everybody's up for a no whoop party. No one's in the house. Let me hear you go. Let me hear you go with a no whoop party. I say no one. I'm saying <coughs> no to this. Many kids, mom told you say no to drugs. She also meant to say no to this. Let's check out Seth's safari. Avoid the dinosaurs. Okay, this one I got it. This one makes sense to me. Okay, maybe I wasn't as ready as I thought. Noah, you're just trying to tenderize these animals so you can make a great steak later? Yes. If so, I gotta hand it to you. The Rube Goldberg approach is very unique. I bet uh. it took even longer to set up than the boat. You're a man of many talents, you know that? Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And by praise the Lord, I mean, look at this bridge filled with dinosaurs, pterodactyls, and a teetering station car. If that doesn't get the point of the Lord across, I just don't know what will. Lord, please just give me a sign. Where are you going with this shit? What? 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 Okay, now I'm gonna get hit by this train. Wait. Oh, now I'm driving it. What? Okay, this is happening. This puts the F in faith, if you know what I'm saying! <laughs> this is fantastic. You know, I, I didn't know it could get this good. I don't know how they're gonna top this. Yeet! Oh, oh I'm coming! I, I, I'm done here! I fulfilled my purpose! I, I need to see no more shit down here! Great Chuck's position here. Is that it? Is it over? What? No, oh no, here I am! Oh my god. Well, the show must go on. Thanks, Noah, for putting me through that traumatizing shit. I may be number one at the swimming contest, but I'll never be right in the head again. Really, the only part of this game that's actually entertaining is seeing all the crazy, absurd concepts for levels and their extremely weird scripted events. If you could call oh, them that. Shit. Most of the rest of the game is just pure confusion. <coughs> an unadulterated lack of spatial understanding. Okay, I am not comfortable with this. That horse is way too eager to get in that cannon. What kind of state do you gotta be? I mean, what do, you, what do your parents gotta do to you for you to turn out like this? To make something like this? I don't even know what the fuck's your problem. There's a police cocaine boat from Miami. But that's okay, because why not? I did a bunch of coke before I made this game. Oh, you know. I Watch out for those giant oh, rats coming down All that coke has these the sorts of effects. Up a slide. This pizza looks like... I, 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 this is like... 
DMT, peyote, ayahuasca levels. Am I outside this, the fence? This is, this is Am I just, outside the fence? Am I anywhere? This is torture, dude. Is any of these... Possibly meth. There could have been some meth involved. Well, like, I, when I remember when I was up there on the I, ledge <laughs> with, the, with the rifle, Jesus said, I, don't, I, don't I, do I, it. I, I don't, and then I don't, he sang I me this song. I don't. And I, and, I, and I took the gun and I said, <clears throat> you're right, Jesus. What am I doing? Thank you for playing me this song and putting me on this rocket on this uh, caterpillar... Uh, you know, to the moon, though. To the moon. To the moon! To the moon, though! There yeah, we're going! That's where the guy was at that made me. this. You didn't tell me! You know, when you go on the new Virgin Atlantic space flight, you gotta sign a goddamn waiver! You're just taking me to the moon! you just... That is just straight up a NASA space shuttle. What? What is it? You're, you're out of control, man. I'm cutting you off. Seriously. Science. And religion. Uh, and a bear with a pink hat on the moon. <clears throat> Stay tuned, folks. We got more where that came from. Hello, U.S. government? Yeah, I'm calling in because I'd like to cancel Christmas. Yeah, exactly, just like the Grinch. Uh, yes, because the human race doesn't deserve a break. We got at least 10, 20 years before we're going to fix this shit. So does this uh, cancel Christmas all around the world, or I got to call each country individually? Yeah, okay, I'll hold. I just want to say thank you guys so much. For me, this has been an amazing year of working on JonTron. I've never been so passionate and focused in my life. And really, it's all thanks to you. Without your rabid, undying support, I could never pull this off. So from the bottom of my heart, this is John Tron wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you want to help support the show, consider signing up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com at audible.com slash JonTron. You get a free audiobook just for signing up. So kick off this Christmas season right with Tim Curry's A Christmas Carol. Yes, okay. that exists. That's a winner. Come on, how can you say no? If you want to yeah. check out something real cool, check out Pixel Logic on Indiegogo. It's a fundraiser for a sprite art tutorial made by Michael Azzi, the guy who does all the John Tron pixel art. He's done so much for this show, so why don't you go do so much for him? Click it. See you next time. Respect for the Metal Gear Solid Kodak picture. Yes, very much so. So, you guys, you guys know about Cocaine Bear, right? Yes. Pablo Escobar? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think that so you told me about him after <laughs> after he ate that seventy five pounds of cocaine and developed his powers. Yes. Before he died, I think his newly acquired psychic powers he got from eating that seventy five pounds of cocaine. He reached out to these developers and gave them a prophetic message and told them, "This is the game you need to make." And then he died. Yes. After his all of his organs just like just exploded and just. <laughs> well, that tends to happen to almost any creature. Yeah. When they consume 75 pounds yeah. of cocaine. Yeah. I don't think that the people who made this game are still alive. I think like, and I think they were done, I think they were done away with in the great purge of of yesteryear. <clears throat> the purge that I I participated in. Surely, I was the only participant. Surely God came down himself and took them up to heaven as he did the one dude in the Bible. Like I mean, <laughs> yeah. either, the, either that or he or he took them all by the hand. And he walked them all straight to a doorway and said, walk through that door to find your destiny. And then they and were then just they falling had... like that pig like for eternity, basically. Just like... <laughs> I just... What the fuck? This was made and sold for money. My friend... Allegedly. My friend... You know what's even more sad? Is there's probably at least a small number of people who actually bought it. Right. I mean, not like John Tron probably bought a copy some from somewhere to play it for his show, but like, I, I yeah, there's probably a this. few few poor souls that actually went to the store and was like, "Hey, Noah's Adventure too." Like that sounds like a good kid friendly game. Bought it for their children, and yeah. those children <clears throat> have grown up and now do not vaccinate their children. Yes. <laughs> you <laughs> no, you want to know something? You want to know something? There's several like confused religious moments in gaming this is probably one of, this is probably one of them i'm not aware of how many people bought this game but there is a certain game that was very popular and amongst and in utah specifically where the mormons roam uh there was a a game which initials were ctr which when the mormons saw that ctr is a very popular thing in the uh, Church of the Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints that stands for Christ the Redeemer. So, parents bought this game CTR for their kids thinking it was a religious game. 
But instead, no. It was Crash Team Racing, the Crash Bandicoot <laughs> racing game. And it is the most popular game ever bought in the state of Utah. This was released in 2007. 2007! That's, this! That's... 63%! Of people liked this video game. I graduated <laughs> high school in 2007. Like, <laughs> I was in my first year of college. Those 63 percent of know these fuckers in 2007. Those 63 percent of people have to be people who watch this John Trump video. That's, like, That's got to be the only has reason. To be, has to be. There had to be at least a zero before this video came out. By 2007, I had finished games like, you know, the 64 Zelda games. I mean, yeah, you know. Great game. Majora's Mask and Ocarina. Yeah, how how does something like this get made in 2007 and sell for money? Because, my friend, people sometimes are very stupid. Okay, so this actually wasn't... I don't think... <coughs> it, it wasn't sold for money, it's free. Okay. Well, so. thank, okay good. thank God. Yeah. This honestly... Thank, no, don't thank God for this. No, the, no. This this uh, I, I I don't think God wants his name any more on this than it already was. This feels like like the final group project for like a community college video game design program and just nobody showed up and so one person had to do everything. almost everything and just put together just even the voiceovers. The, this horrible like, like faith in our Lord God. It's like wait 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 that sounded too much like the other one. Let me try it again. Faith in our Lord God. It's not like Patrick having a stroke. Oh, they did try to sell merchandise related to the game. Aha! Right? So, so there's the rub. Yeah. So all those names that you saw at the in the credits thing there, those were all like fake names. I I knew Taco Cohen sounded too good to be true. I I feel like the the guy that they left in the group to finish it was like probably like one of these fundamentalist kids that got made fun of a lot so he's like okay i'm just gonna like put all this in there then i was hoping to see <laughs> where luck, the where else. the people who made this abomination are from because if they're from america then i was gonna say that we no longer have room to say what the fuck japan about anything anymore um oh no dude that went out the window when i if a japanese guy actually, I like, can't saw that game on here saw that he'd be like what the fuck america <laughs> well dude there's several games that have come out from us here in the states that have absolutely just i'm gonna mention this game i'm probably gonna censor it but have you all ever heard of the game nope i've heard it mentioned yes okay it seems like one of those things you just don't talk about or <clears throat> okay i'm gonna cut this part of the video out now So yeah, can't mention any of that, so I just had to cut it all out. I'm sorry about that. And if you want to know what we were talking about, I'm sorry. But the less we say about that game, the better. Yeah. Anyway. There's wait. certain games that just shouldn't be acknowledged. It's exactly. Like... <clears throat> no, absolutely not. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this was John Tron's The Zoo Race. May God have mercy on the people so that made this that, freaking game. Is that what this was? Okay. Yes, that's what this was. I didn't know what the fuck this was. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm still I'm still in a haze of confusion right now. I, I'm still convinced you put something in my tea. <laughs> like, I think Nick is catching on to my uh, my little plot. So uh, we're gonna end the video here. So thanks again, everybody. So until next time, I'm Nate. Micah. You son of a bitch. And we'll see you in the next I'm one, Nick. everybody. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.